Having the ability to have one mouse work seamlessly between two computers at the same time really is appetizing to increase your workflow, especially when you can transfer files with no USB key and just with copying and pasting with your mouse. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just four steps using Logitech Options. The most important thing is to make sure that you have a Logitech device that is compatible to work with Logitech Flow. I'll put a link in the description to below of all the devices that work with it. So step one, download Logitech Options. So not right here, I have two devices and I have Logitech options downloaded on both of them. So make sure that you have both downloaded so then everything works as seamless as possible. Step two, make sure that you pair your mouse to both computers. So as you can see here, I have the MX Master 3 and if I click the button on the bottom, it changes which mouse it's connected to. Okay, so now once you've paired both of your devices, you're simply going to make sure that both devices are connected to the same network because when you're transferring those files over in the future, they need to be transferred over through your internet. I go to my start and I can go to Wi-Fi and I'm on my network. And then when I go to my other computer, I have the same connection. So we're good to go. And the last step, all you have to do is click flow on your Logitech options app on both devices and enable Logitech flow. So now all you have to do is click on enable on both of your devices and Logitech's going to now search for your mouse. And once it connects them because it's on the same network and then you have the app open on both applications and your mouse is paired, then you're going to have a success and you're just going to select continue. And once you have continue, you're all in and you're in your Logitech options app flow. But just wait, I'm going to show you a few more cool features that this Logitech Options app has, including transferring large files. So this is what it's going to look like when you're first opening the app with a Logitech Flow. And you're going to have switch between computers and it's just going to be moving to the edge. So for myself, this is kind of what my di displays look like. So all I have to do is move to the bottom edge and it's going to seamlessly sync between the two devices. Now, what I've found is if I'm like scrolling around pretty fast and I accidentally hit the bottom, then it's gonna to go to the other screen and it's gonna be frustrating because I'm gonna lose where my mouse is. But the way you can fix that is you press this option, hold control and move to the edge. Now the most important setting is copy and paste. So make sure you have that enabled and I'm gonna show you the potential of it. So for myself, I just filmed a video, I copy it and then I use the flow to go to my next computer. Do you see how that opened up? So it's downloading and once it's done, then I should be able to watch it. So I can now watch a file. So as you can see, that file worked. And if I go and open it on my other one, testing, it's seamless. You don't have a USB key. All you need to do is follow those steps that I had above and you're good to go. If you want to learn more about how to use the MX Master 3 to its full capabilities, I'll put a link in the description to show you how I set up my Logitech MX Master 3. It's going to really help improve your workflow. Hope this video helped you realize some more potential about the MX Master 3 and using Logitech options. I want to help you out just like I would my brother. See you in the next video.